Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and the very first channel update video. I have not done a single one of these yet. This is gonna be interesting. I'm just, I, I have just a notepad in front of me. I have like keywords I want to go through. I haven't made a speech out of any of what I have had in my mind. So I'm just gonna start with the fact that 2020 has been difficult to everyone. I don't think there is a single person who hasn't had some sort of a uh, bump on this year. Not alone from the worldwide pandemic, which we shall not talk about more because it's all over the news all the time. But also uh, because of uh, quarantines and uh, lockdowns and everything across the world. People have lost their relationships, people have lost their friendships, people have gained new ones. Um, it has been an insane year in many, many levels. And I'm not one to say that it has not affected me in any way. This spring 2020, uh, my workplace closed up for two and a half months. We didn't, we couldn't keep the store open because the situation grew rapidly difficult to keep the store open. We had no customers and we are close to the same point right now as well. So I do not even know if I have a job to return to next year. So the only thing that kept me going was my husband, my family, and it's the first year in years that my depression hasn't been peaking its head insanely loud and high. It would have been my first year to be actual uh, considered healthy <laughs> person. And now I feel like the year has come to an end and absolutely nothing has happened to me. I'm basically in the same place as I was last year around this time of the year. Absolutely nothing happened. And I'm, I don't have a speech here. I said that already. I, I don't have anything ready. I'm just talking what's come to my head right now, just from keywords. So if my thought cuts or whatever, then that's just how I am. And I'm just overwhelmed and I do not know exactly how or what to say. English is not my primary language and it's not my mother tongue in by any means. So if I lose a train of thought, then that's because I do not know how to express myself in this language. So what I've been up to lately, because I haven't been on Twitter, I haven't been on Instagram, I haven't, uh, I have been very bad at uploading videos. Um, I've been writing my novel. It is finally at the place where I can safely say that it should come out for my family to read and friends to read for Christmas. That's the place I am at. And I don't know if I have talked about it that much openly out public but yes i have written a novel fantasy novel and it is for young adults or teens maybe possibly more it's nothing fancy <laughs> in a sense it, it's just a little story that i have had in my head since i've been 17 years old and i now a few years ago it was a time when i was allowed basically to write it down and I say by allowed because my previous relationship, well, I was under control so hard. And that person decided everything for me. What was my favorite color? What music did I listen to? How did I play my games? And whatever. That person decided everything for me. And if you haven't been in that kind of a relationship, you do not even know how easy it is to get sucked into that kind of a relationship and completely lose the sense of who you are. So now, a couple of years ago, I was uh, finally in a place with my current husband where I can, and I was allowed, and I realized that I, I am allowed, of course I am allowed, to do what I want. And that was to write down the story that I've had more or less on a little pieces of paper and notebooks. I have a few pieces of notebooks here that I have seen that they're very early on draws like ideas on who and what happens but the story never ended on those little uh notebooks 
So I wanted to finish it. I also have been playing World of Warcraft Shadowlands a lot and a lot. I hoped I would have gotten alpha and early beta invites, but I never got them, I assume. And I primarily think that it was because I did not have active game time or subscription for that game during the testing was happening. So I ended up in rather late beta testing and Shadowlands was pushed back. So they didn't launch it when they were supposed to. Like they pushed it back about a month or so. And I was very tentative about the game. There was nothing there that was calling me high and mighty that this is gonna be great. Nothing, nothing really said, yes, this is gonna be the best expansion ever. And I still don't have that. I still don't have that insane excitement that I had back in Legion or in Draenor. I don't, I don't have that burn <laughs> in me to enjoy. And in, I don't know if you ever have that kind of a game. This is a MMORPG game. You play with other people. You play with your friends. You can play with your family, whoever. And everyone has their own kind of a character. You can be mage if you want to. And you can also be this most blood raging orc if you want to. There's so many roles and classes and races that you can be. That you can find your online uh, you in there. But now in Shadowlands, I don't, it, it, I do not know what's going on. It's just the burn is, it's a very, very safe flame. It's not burning desire. I don't know if you know what I mean. But the same thing goes to what I think everyone is here for. This has been the Sims 4 channel and during beta of Warcraft, I, I, did pull some videos to this channel. I was streaming on YouTube for a little bit and I lost a whole lot of subscribers because of this. Because I introduced another game on my channel. I have had these like um, raid videos before my channel where my me and my guild, we are raiding in the World of Warcraft and we are talking bullshit and we are burning each other and we are <laughs> love-hate relationship going on between us all because we are a big I consider it as a big family, friends and family. And it's got to go in with The Sims 4 in a way uh, as well that I'm lo uh, I <laughs> I feel so uninspired. You guys, I I just I I don't have that burning desire to play The Sims either. It's um I can play my let's plays. I enjoy my let's plays. I have uh, my not so berry has been going on f since 2017, I think. Christ, Christ almighty. Like, I love that family. I love the Gibsons. Gibsons are my little breath of air in The Sims 4. I have also another Let's Play that's called Magical Witches. And I have not got, gotten that connection with that family. I think that Let's Play has to go. Because I don't have... I don't have... Uh, anything that's keeping me connected or interested in that Let's Play. Or the challenge itself, Magical Witches, I'm not really a occult person in this game. I've never been. I, I never played with the vampires either. So, I mean, or mermaids. I'm I'm not the type. I like to play all the challenges, yes. Like a legacy type of things, like not so buried. It's absolutely excellent. Every single generation has a goal and you have to do something, but it has nothing to do with magic. I don't know what bothers me about the magic so much, but I can't keep connected to it. And I raise hat to anyone who can keep doing that. I absolutely adore you who can play any werewolf uh, from The Sims 3 or Vampire or Mermaid or the ma magic stuff. I absolutely adore you because you are the reason why those packs are there. But I can't. And I think Magical Witches gotta go because I can't, I can't bring myself... It's basically forcing myself to go and play it. And it's not how Let's Play series is supposed to be. It's supposed to be happiness of going to play with that family. And my not so berry is that. And the latest addition is Colors of Life. And I absolutely adore that Let's Play. It is kind of a color coded as well. We are on Generation Blue, the first one right now. And it's just, it's a very, very lovely. It's just something very nice. I don't know, I, I can't explain it quite. The rules are just excellent. 
and the goals are excellent and it it's a huge struggle in that slit spray in like money wise it it's brilliant i love it which comes down to inspiration on building in the sims 4 i am limiting myself from the mod side for building because i literally just can't be arsed to use something like tool mod in my game i just i literally just can't be arsed to do it and I see all these beautiful builds that everyone is doing with the mod, but no one is pretty much building anything without that mod anymore. And what does that tell me? It's that the game itself is lacking something. The only thing I for so long used in the game was just the cheats that we had available at the time. Like BB move objects and the show um, whatever the other cheat mods... Uh, cheat codes that we have in the game but no all like outside game mods were required to do beautiful builds but now because there are excellent modders out there who can make all this available to us outside lot building and whatever then the game kind of loses its shine in many many levels to me personally because I refuse to use mods, I have tried to fill up my game with the CC and because I couldn't find the CC I wanted, that was Max's match and for the already existing items in the game that I was looking for and I wanted to have, I needed to start doing that myself. So I have been creating CC, Max's match CC for already existing items in the game. I have been recoloring carpets, I have recolored some couches, uh, beds, you name it. I have done a whole lot. I even have gone and recolored dresses and jeans and created a few shirts and tops because something is missing in the game and I do not know what it is at the moment that I'm missing but I just can't make myself to play it. I can't make myself to build and that is the main concern i have because that is what my channel has been based on for so long was to build and i have built i have built the salvador boarding house from vampire diaries i have built uh, diners from tv shows i have built the very most built building from any movies and books hogwarts i have all this i have them on my channel i have them done and i have them created but they're so old but i can't make myself to recreate them not again because they take me so long to create i take so much time to actually think what am i gonna do next and how am i gonna do it and without actually using mods i'm yet again keeping my ability to make them true to the tv shows or movies or books so it's a little squirrel wheel I'm going through in my head right now. And thus, I think the channel is going to be heading to a Christmas holiday break relatively soon. I'll throw videos out when I feel inspired to do so. Mostly it's going to be the Let's Plays. And let's be honest, yes, I'm aware Let's Plays are not the type of videos that are doing the best at the moment. Especially when it's someone with such a manic, boring voice like mine. But, you know, if you enjoy boring, dry humor person like me, then that's perfect for me. But if you don't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't provide anything else. I don't know. Was this a channel update? I don't even know what this was anymore. This was so, sort of just my thoughts out in the world. And I don't know what I was even getting at. I'm just looking out to the window and it's the most gorgeous warning and I'm sitting behind the computer and I feel upset about it. What I try to get at is do what you want to do and support those creators that you want to support. Small or big. But even the big ones have been small ones. There are gems in the small creators. Remember that. And I appreciate every single one who has supported me through all this time. In many ways, I feel like I'm <laughs> um, not betraying, but, you know, letting down a lot of people by feeling this uninspired and this bored of the game. But one 
has to have break from everything on some point in life. It's uh, natural to have summer holidays from your job. It's natural to have uh, breaks from school. It, it's everything. And even though this is just a hobby for me, it's not paying me anything. I'm not getting a dime out of this. I feel like I haven't had a break from YouTube since I started. And I think I have been on YouTube now for like four to five years or something. I don't even know. You let me know if you can figure it out. I kind of want to close out all the numbers and time I have spent in here because I don't have the burning desire to it. I, I just, it's just a hobby. I'm doing it out of just, you know, doing something in my life. How sad that sounded. I'm sorry. But I'm a grown up person who is struggling to get a, a full time job. I've had all my life. I have health, health issues that I never speak of and that you never know of. And some new ones, new things just keep popping up that uh, just take priority over, you know, sitting behind my computer for hours till end, editing videos and, you know, just pushing whatever out. I haven't even had time to figure out de- December on YouTube. Last year I had, and the previous year of that I had Christmas stuff. But this year... I haven't had time to do that. I've been so stuck with everything else in my life. So I think that's a perfect sign to actually say, take a break. So I'm gonna slow down on YouTube. I'm gonna slow down majorly on YouTube. And I'm just gonna pull videos out whenever I can. Hoping them to be, of course, from uh, the videos to be out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, But to think that I used to pull videos out every single day of the week then I dropped five days to week and now it's three times a week it just shows that I have not unlimited time in my hands and I need to respect that my thought just got off I don't know even know what I was saying anymore my brain is just fried right now and I've been just blabbering for over 20 minutes so I'm so sorry you had to go through this but yeah first channel update I'm struggling that's pretty much it. So congrats, you got through to that point. And yeah, I'll get back whenever I have a video out. And if it doesn't happen, don't hang me. Okay? So I love you who have supported me thus far. And I will continue loving all the support you gave me. But remember that even you deserve a break sometimes. And always listen to yourself. Always listen to your body. Always listen to your heart and your head. When do you need to have a break? When do you feel so uninspired about everything that you have been doing that you need to just stop and look for alternatives? That's basically what I'm getting at, okay? So I'm I'm looking for alternatives. I do not know what it is. I do not know what I'm uh, getting at. I do not know... um, What 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 am I doing? I I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm I'm thirty thirty five next year, and I have no fucking idea what I'm doing with my life. All right. So if you have a clear path for yourself, that's great, and I'm a little jealous. But you know, let's move on. And I thank you uh for listening and watching whatever. If you stayed this long, if you did it, then you have no idea what I mean with whatever. So. Okay, no, I'm just repeating myself. Okay, I better go. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Happy simming or whatever you've been planning to do. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.